from Model Flat, and today, due to popular demand, we're going to do a construction video on the Hobby Zone Stratos. So here are all the items out of the box that you'll need to put this together. Um, I'll take you through step by step on how to build this model. Firstly, we'll start with the fuselage. Underneath, you'll see a slot at the back here. This simply takes the rear undercarriage, and that's just a, a spring fit or a press fit. So just clip them in. Easy as that. The front wheel. That one there's a bolt on, so this will go in that way. With the obviously following the profile of the outside of the fuselage. And these are held on with this packet of uh, small Phillips head screws here. And that just simply bolts on. Easy as that, so that's the undercarriage. At the back here you'll see a wing locator or wing retainer. This takes this carbon fibre rod and there's a keyway or a, a flat spot on the top of there and that goes to the top so that just fits straight in there and that's retained with a packet of metric screws here and just do these up until they're firm. And they hold that carbon in place. At the back of the aeroplane, the elevator. So there's a horn or a control horn on the top. This lines up with this little grey clevis here. So that'll fit from the back. And just press it in, it'll be a fairly tight fit. And line that up. Make sure it's square. And this is held on by these little clear um, pieces of tape. You put one on the top and then on the bottom as well. Put the tape to retain the tail on and then remove the rubber fuel stopper and clip this clevis to the outside hole on that control horn and this bit of rubber fuel tubing stops that from coming undone. With the wing really simple, as it comes out of the box you'll see that the engine wires are pressed into the where the wing spar would go, just take them out on both wings carbon fibre wing spar into each wing press them together on the top of the wing you'll see this big cap or canopy cover I suppose you could call it that locates into the holes available press that down firm and then turn the wing over And you'll see where the screw holes come through the other side. One of these is magnetic. This sits on the back. And one's plastic on the front. And this is held together with the longer self-tapping screws. And again, just do these up until they're firm. That's the wing joint. Outboard of the motors on the wings, you'll see these little holes here uh, glued to the wing spar. These accommodate, um, I suppose you could call it an anti-drag bar so the wings don't hit the ground once you're close to the ground. And they simply just press in. They're just a press fit. And that'll stop the wing from getting chewed up by the grass or anything like that. We're looking at the top side of the wing, outboard again of that little skid bar. We have some what they call side force generators. So just to assist with stability, they simply just slide over the wings, over the recess that's supplied here, line up with the hole that's there, and press that down. And these again get attached with these little clear pieces of tape. So you would just put a piece of tape over there to retain them. To plug the wing in, you'll see there's a channel at the front of the fuselage and a channel on the wing. So that'll, tongue and groove, that'll fit into there. And before doing so, we'll plug the wires together. Now these only go in one way. So you've got the JST connectors 
Left motors. That one. And that one. And then we just flip the wing over. Locate the front first into that groove. Once the front's in, you'll slide the wing sideways like this to get underneath that carbon fiber uh, wing retainer and then just slide it sideways and it'll clip into that thing and that's how the wing's joined. So there you go guys, there's our Stratos all put together. It takes about 10 minutes to do, it's quite easy. So thanks for taking the time to check out the Stratos construction video. Till next time.